So I'm in my apartment, I'm still in the Bronx, right? And she convinces me to get high. Yo, let's smoke this weed, this is incredible, you know, the blah 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 it's gonna be even better, you know, right? Y'all can, y'all can, right? And so I smoked. I got so paranoid, I ran out the house butt naked. Hey, yo. Real talk, in the middle of the night, oh! I ran out of there, I got so paranoid. They call it a bad trip or something, right? I ran out of there and the girl, she pulls up in my car. I had the white Lexus at the time. She's like, Joe, Joe, get in the car. I was already fat, Joe, too. Like, Joe, Joe, get in the car, Joe. I was like, I'm gonna die. I gotta go to the hospital. I'm gonna die. Right, so she convinced me finally to get in the car that she was gonna take me to the hospital. She takes me around the block, and we go in the crib, and I take like seven showers. I never want you guys to see Fat Joe running naked down the street. <laughs> it's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And shout out to Fat Joe for telling this story about smoking weed in the Bronx and ending up outside with no clothes on. Me, personally, I'm not a big weed smoker. You know, if y'all got a little minute, I got a little story for your ass. Uh, back in the day, you know, I was hanging out with my mans. He was hanging out with his mans, and he was with his mans. And, you know, I know I sound a little confusing, but keep up. So it was his man's birthday, and he just happened to be the weed man. So, you know, mad blunts is in rotation. Me, personally, I only smoke one blunt, and I'm good. Like, I can't smoke two blunts. I'll be done for it. Like, you know, and niggas be talking shit like, nah, bro, you can't be tapping out. There's more blunts going around. Man, listen. I'm a grown ass man. Ain't no man gonna tell me how much I'm going to smoke and whatnot. So anyway, we on our way to the Oregon district. It's in Dayton. It's like a little strip with bars and clubs or whatever. Not clubs, but bars. But uh, we get there and nigga, I'm so high. Mind you, it's dead winter. I'm so high that I couldn't feel temperature. Like everybody had long sleeves and coats on. You know, when it gets to that certain temperature, you don't know if you really want to bring a coat in the club and all that. You know, I'm one of those type dudes, you know, back then I was anemic and didn't know it. You know, I'm not no more. But anyway, uh, we step outside, you know, I take my long sleeve off because I'm hot. Like, not hot, but I just don't feel temperature. Like, it's freezing outside, but I just don't feel it because I'm so high. So we walk in and there's a, a police officer walking, you know, and because, you know, those areas we having cops and you're not supposed to be drinking out in public. But you know me, I was being stupid. I had a bottle in my hand and I seen the cop and my man's was like, yo, put that down or, you know, put it away. So, you know, I thought it would be funny. I don't know why if I just passed the bottle to my man's in front of the cop. <laughs> and I did, no, 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 I didn't. I tried to, you know, trying to be funny. And so my man's looked at me and got a little salty, which is completely understandable. And you know, the cop said something to me about the bottle and anybody that knows me knows I'm not really that ignorant out in public like that. Like I don't be wilding out like that, like doing dumb ass shit like that. But like I said, I was so high that I just didn't care. Like I didn't care about nothing. I was on autopilot. I was talking to people. Like I wasn't even consciously thinking about it. It was just happening. Uh, nigga. I was trying, I, I could feel my heart beat. And you know, you be wanting to interrupt, like tell everybody to shh, like, like, hey, yo, y'all stop real quick. Cause you know, you trying to feel what's going on in your body. Yeah, nigga, I was that high. And mind you, I didn't really smoke like that, you know? So uh, anyway, you know what to do. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any experiences, let me know.